<laughs> well, we're coming on live here from the home of the Okaboji Pioneers. And this is Craig Johnson alongside John Shuck. Welcome aboard, John. Yep. Glad to be here. We're going to tune up our mics here a little bit. Can you hear yourself okay, yeah, I John? I can hear my, well, not, I, not I, a little bit soft it is. I can hear yeah, you can pretty hear, good. Oh, that's good is now. Is that better now? That, that's plenty loud, yep. Oh, it's too much, huh? Yeah, Let's turn it down a little. There you go, there you go, there you go. That seems about perfect, huh? Yep, sounds good. And we are uh, counting down here to the opening exercises, and our starting lineups will be beginning soon here in the uh, Pioneer headquarters. Home of the Pioneers, Milford, Iowa, Okaboji Pioneers. This is our host tonight. Yep. I want to thank them for our our uh, booth spot here. We're right in the middle of the action, uh, high atop the action, actually, up in the balcony looking down. And uh, it's one of the close balconies in the conference, so it's fun to sit here and yep, right call close. the action from uh, this spot. So this is a game rescheduled from Tuesday night because of the cold weather, and today it's 45 degrees out there. Water running in the ditches, so uh, what a change from Tuesday to now, but next week sounds like it's going to be cold again. So, uh, yeah, should uh, be an exciting game here tonight for the Okoboji girls. Uh, doing a great job playing basketball this year. I think uh, they're 17-2, and two, only two losses, and uh, George Little Rock comes in with three wins and 16 losses. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough night, but that's why they play the games here and uh, never know who wins the game tonight. That is right. So we're... Uh Looking forward to bringing the live action. I want to thank our uh, title sponsors this season, Frontier Bank, locations in George and Little Rock. Yep, very good. Thank you for that. And also uh, we have uh, our friends at Pizza Ranch Yep. and uh, Little Rock Community Foods. Yep, with always Taco Wednesday. <laughs> you can't forget Taco that. Taco Wednesday. And, uh, they got all your grocery needs there, too, in Little Rock. So if you need any groceries, meat department, you can go in there any day of the week and have a nice little dinner for 5 bucks. So That's good stuff, Little yep. Rock Community Foods. Cool. And uh, also for our friends at Security Savings Bank, they're uh, along, along with us this uh, season as well. Uh, throughout the, all of the regular season games. I want to thank all of those sponsors. So yep. thank you very much. We couldn't do it if it wouldn't be for those sponsors. I'll tell you that. We just thank you so much. And if you people are listening on the GLR radio, I give those people a call and say thanks for bringing a GLR radio to us in our home so we can listen to the games. I'm sure they would appreciate it if they'd get a thank you or a phone call from all you fans out there. So... Um, we also want to thank Jerry and Amy Jerns and um, Arlen and Rosalie Aarons, as well as Steve uh, and Christy Haben for bringing the girls' games to you here tonight, too. So a lot of people uh, helping out to bring the game. So we're about ready for the opening remarks here. I think they probably got senior night first before they announced the starting lineups, yep. right? They've got seven of them they're going to showcase right now. So we got the game here tonight at Okaboji, and then uh, make sure you tune in Tuesday night because we'll be back home in George Little Rock, and they'll be playing uh, Sibley O'Cheaton there for the last uh, conference game for the girls. And then next Thursday night, the girls start tournament play already, and that is going to be held right in George, Iowa, and they'll be... Hmm, who was they going to play yet, Craig? You remember? Harris Lake Park. HLP, yep. HLP, yep. Next Thursday night at home will be the first round tournament for our girls. So you may not be able to hear the uh, announcements, but they're announcing their uh, seven seniors, uh, giving them 
their accolades and their accomplishments throughout their high school careers. Yep. And uh, it's a chance for the parents to walk out with the students, give the students some recognition there, and uh, for the coach to go out and, and give them their regards. One of the players that's uh, not a senior from for each of the seniors bringing out a little gift basket, gift bag to each uh, of the seniors that are getting showcased. And, uh, and it can, can be kind of an emotional time for the uh, girls as well as the parents, uh, especially if it's their last child graduating from high school. And uh, yeah. so, but, uh, so it's a nice honor for to honor seniors at the uh, senior night here at the basketball game. Yep, and this is their uh, last home game mm -hmm. of the season, so this is the uh, time where they're going to showcase those. Yep, that's usually when they do it, the last uh, game of the year. So, so if you look what? over in the student section there, John, they've got full-size cutouts of their favorite players up on the oh, yes. student section there. They'll, they'll be cheering with them. They'll bring it right up when they, oh, yeah, I see that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Each time they've got just like a full-size player in the in the yep. stands there, an image of each player. So that's a pretty fun thing. So it looks like the underclassmen here kind of went out and present them with a gift bag there and stuff, and so kind of an honor for them too. Yeah, it's a nice, a uh, nice event here. They're thinking uh, another year or two I'll be graduating, and uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll get that same honor. Yep. Pretty good turnout here from the the uh, Okaboji fans on the opposite side of the court and our Mustang fans right along in front of and, and beside us here. Yep. And it's a chance for the coach to, to uh, embrace the parents as well as the yep. players and say thank you for... Allowing me to Allowing coach, me your, to daughter coach your daughter for four years. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty deal. I can see why you would say it's an emotional thing. Yeah, that it is. Sometimes it can I be. did. Yeah, I, you did. I, I went through that too. I uh, I just put eye drops in. That's why. I oh, I seen you was crying a little bit there ahead of time, <laughs> but no, you just put eye drops. That's a. It's only eye excuse. drops. Yeah. Okay. These aren't even our students, and we're a little emotional yeah, just watching. Yeah, that's right. This, so yeah, kind of a big deal here. So yeah, it sure is. Sometimes they say, well, why don't they do it at a different time? But, no, this is the time to do it when the parents and the people are all here and, and recognize these kids for all their efforts of uh, yeah. playing sports, you know, over the four years of high school. And they have a few uh, cheerleaders that are seniors as well. This is their last night to shine in a home game. Yep. And so their parents are walking them out as well. So. We'll be we'll be uh, bringing you the starting lineups right after this event. This is the time to to do it. I think they'll probably do the fellas right before the fellas game, won't oh, they? I would say, yep. yep. You never know; they could they do could it do, all right. They now, could do it now too. I've been not sure. So, so you kind of wonder um, when you see all these young people out here is. Uh, where are they going to head for college? What are they be going to be doing, you know, the rest right. of their life? And they got to make some plans now to uh, get out in the workforce or go to a college and get some degree. And so they got a lot of uh, things ahead of them to think about. A lot of decisions ahead. So I think it's not just only the basketball players. It's no, all it's seniors that have been all involved in band or cheerleading. Or I uh, think this, the, these are uh, people who are managers on the team or on yep. some other aspect besides just playing on the court. Right. So a pretty neat, pretty neat showcase here. So parents all standing up from Okaboji and... Uh, just uh, really congratulating and give them a good hand there for uh, their efforts here over the last years. So it's nice to have fan support like that too for the kids. They're lining up for photographs here. And 
I'm sure this will be in some newspaper somewhere, these that, photographs. Yeah, I would say, I suppose Okoboji has a paper here, and mm -hmm. maybe even Spirit Lake is here. Who knows? So, so we're ready to get the show on the road, get down to the nitty-gritty. We got here just a little earlier, so we took a ride on the roller coaster before we come down it here. It was a nice day for that. Yes, it really was. It wasn't too cool. I didn't know they'd be running the... Uh, the yep. old wooden coaster today. But yep, they had her going. We got that free nice, ride on there. So Nice day for that. So now it's ready to uh, for the uh, starting lineups for the Mustangs. Wearing number 40 is Madison Driesen. And number 24 is Mackenzie Post. And a senior number 14 is Courtney Dykstra. And a senior number four is Akela Johnson. And a senior number one, Kayla Gherkin. And they're coached by Tyler Glanzer, insisted by Reed Gertis. And now for the Okaboji Pioneers. Number 34, Cam Camry Jones. And number five, Alexis Nielsen. And number 12 for the Okaboji Pioneers, Ellie Harms. Number 14 for Okaboji, Megan Christofferson. And number 23, Kayla Stumble. And that's your starting lineups there for the Mustangs and Okaboji Pioneers. And now our national anthem. And a nice job on Boy. our nation's theme song there. Very good there. And she's wearing a cheerleading outfit besides. Oh, okay. so, she's gonna, so she's a cheerleader and sang she her She started us lesson. off with the nation's theme song, and now she's going to go lead the cheer for the Okaboji student section there. And did a great job at it, too. Very well done. So we're uh, ready to uh, have the uh, opening tip on here. So we're just getting started at 6.15, like over. They told us the other night it was going to be 6 o'clock start, but. Uh, yes, we're going to get started right on time as if it was a Siouxland Conference ball game. Yep. So Courtney Dykstra jumping center there against Alexa Nielsen. Mustangs going to her right here. And balls up and controlled by Okaboji here. And a quick two points there for Okaboji, number 23. Kaelin Stumbo with a quick pass off of the tip and center court. So uh, she scores instantly. Yep, Mackenzie Post. Pass. Oh, and the ball is out of the hands of uh, Courtney Dykstra. That's a turnover right in front of the uh, Okaboji bench here. So Okaboji now with the ball. So Stumbo brings it up. Going to hand it off. Now they'll swing it around the left side through Alexis Nielsen. Allie Harms 
Dishing off at the post. Shot. Just inside the free throw line. Shot up and good. That's Megan Christofferson with a made basket. They're showing a little press right out of the gate here. So it's uh, four to nothing early on here. So Courtney Dykstra ready to put the ball in play. Gets it into post here. Post going to get in double team there. Quickly gets it ahead to Dykstra. Dykstra over to, uh, oh, luckily there that uh, McKenzie or Michaela Johnson with the ball. Oh, and a post runs it down. Could have been out of bound. Post puts a shot up off the front of the rim. No good. And now we're going to get a foul called on Courtney Dykstra, her first foul of the night. First foul in the game here. Ford Stimo quickly bringing it up again. They're just pushing the tempo. A three ball on the way. Too no short. Good. Rebound to Dykstra. Dykstra ahead to Gherkin. Gherkin now across the timeline there. Two three zone. Tough defense there by the Okabuji. And a three pointer on the way by Courtney Dykstra off the back of the rim. No good. Rebounded to Okaboji. Stumbo brings it up. 6.30 in on the clock. Stumbo did not have her dribble picked up. And took it all the way to the glass. And got fouled. And fouled and on the way to the bucket. He at the line to shoot, too. And that foul is going to be on Post. That's her first foul. McKenzie Post. Kaylin Stumbo at the line for two free throws. Free throw up and good. good there. Second one up and good as well. Six to nothing our score here with 6.26 to go in the first quarter. Gherkin now with the ball, bringing it across the timeline. Quickly passes over to uh, Post. Post driving in all the way, puts a shot up too hard off the butt glass. Rebound to Camry Jones. Ahead to Stumbo again, pushing the tempo, going to dish it to the corner. Free, three ball up and good for Megan Christofferson. 9 nothing. our score. Pass ahead there to uh, Michaela Johnson. On the ball kick there by number 23, Stumbo. So uh, it'll be a uh, Mustang ball right in front of the Okaboji bench here now. Finally get the ball in play there to Dykstra. Dykstra on the far right side there looking to get somebody open in the middle there. Madison Driesen. Dykstra looked at a three, passed it up, drives into the lane, puts it up, and no good. A good shot by Dykstra, but just would not fall for her. Christofferson clearing the rebound. Out to Harms on the left wing. Harms drives it all the way through, dishing out again for three. That one's too short. Rebound to Dykstra. And now a jump ball call there. As, uh, but the arrow will favor the Mustangs, so we regain possession of the ball. So Gherkin now with the ball. 9-0, Okaboji. Pass it clear across court here to Post. Post finally gets it across. Timeline passes quickly ahead to Madison Driesen. Madison cross court there to uh, Post. Back over to Gherkin. Gherkin dribbling around the left side. Passes back over to Michaela Johnson. Michaela going the baseline and traveled with the ball. Didn't have anybody to pass to and just... Uh, just a turnover there. Michaela traveled. So into the game is uh, Madison Eben as well as um, who else come in the game for George Little Rock? Olivia. Oh, yes. Olivia and Madison Eben. Yep. Madison Eben straight up. Shot up no good. And Olivia had it thrown off of her toe out yep. of bounds. Stumbo heads up play there to keep the possession for Okaboji. Stumbo will throw it in high into the high court to Alexis Nielsen. They'll dish it out around to the top. Harms will bring it around the top of the key to the left side. Christofferson out to the corner. And a travel Foul. call there on uh, number 34 Jones. Camry took extra steps on the catch. So turnover for Okaboji. The importance of a pass 
to a player when they don't have to move their feet to catch it is uh, exemplified there on that play. Here's Post taking Post's it all Post's going to go way all down. the way, puts a shot up, and just no good off the back of the rim. Rebound to Nielsen. Stumbo out of the side pass inside to Jones, out to the elbow, the free throw line extended no good shot, there. no good. Olivia comes away with the loose ball here, passes it quickly over to Post. Post now bringing the ball on the left side, just about got it taken away, but gives it back to Dykstra now. Dykstra driving in, puts a shot up, and there's a foul called on number five, Nielsen. Nielsen whistled for her first foul. The team's first, 353 in a fast-moving first period here. 9-0 our score, and Dykstra with a chance to break the ice for the Mustangs. Does it with a free throw. Well done by Courtney there. First point for the Mustangs. 9-1 our score. Make sure with the second free throw coming. And yeah. she makes that one too. So 9-2 to our score here now with 3.50 to play in the uh, first quarter. Nice pass oh. on the dribble down underneath to... Camry Jones, a put back up and good by number four, Morgan Jensen. Jensen into the lineup. Two point basket. Quickly ahead now, Dykstra driving into the basket again, puts a shot up, no good. And we're going to have a jump ball there. Madison Eben was in there for the rebound too and had a jump ball called. So it'll be Okaboji's ball here. Favor them on the jump. 320 and counting down in our first period. 11-2 the score. Stumbo, nice pass underneath right. to Jones, but tipped away by the Mustang defense. Yeah, Gherkin was in there to tip that ball away. So Gherkin brings it across the timeline for the Mustangs. Gherkin pass it back. Now a three-pointer from Dykstra on the way. No good. Rebounded there by Gherkin. Back to Dykstra. Dykstra looked, got the ball swatted away, but gained control. Good puts job. another shot up. No good there. Rebounded by <laughs> Michaela. Olivia, or Olivia, Olivia Johnson, rather. Good job, inside to Kayla and she got a good shot off and the foul is called on number 14 Megan Christofferson her first that should put Kayla at the line for two free throws free throws in and out no good there so uh, Kayla you're going to get a chance to uh, Another free throw here. That one's up and uh, no good. Rattles out there too again. So, oh, and the ball taken away there. Good defense by Madison even to get that steal. Three-pointer on the way by Dykstra and count it for Dykstra. The two made free throws and a made three for Dykstra. All five points for the Mustangs. Stumbo ahead to Jensen. Now around the baseline, cut off by a good defense there. Camry Jones out to the top again to Maria Meyer. Meyer hands it off. Megan Christofferson drives in. Nice soft touch there from yep. Megan Christofferson. Two-point basket up and good. 13-5, 2.09 on the clock. Post now with the ball. Shoots a three-pointer up and off the front of the rim. No good. Christofferson ahead to Jones. There's a travel, Jones. but nothing called. Jones dishing back. The shot up and good from Morgan Jensen. Nice soft touch again on the shot. The basket's good, and she's fouled. So she'll on be on the way to the basket. That foul is on uh, Courtney Dykstra. Her second foul. Yep. So Jones and Stumbo checking out. Who did we bring in? Uh, Lauren Jurens. Lauren Jurens come into the game. Lauren Jurens for the Mustangs. Yep. And um, the free throw is up and good for Morgan Jensen. Jurens now with the ball, bringing it up across the court. Jurens dribble on the right side there. Now brings the ball around the top of the key there. Passes quickly over there to Madison Driesen. Madison Driesen. Getting team, 
Passes it off to Jerns now. A lot of tough defense there by the Okaboji girls, and there's going to be a turnover. So T.O. to the Open here, there. Gherkin steals the ball away from him. Okaboji didn't even, yeah, Gherkin going in all the way, and they're going to call a charging foul on Gherkin as she went in there for a layup, and uh, so that's the first foul on uh, Kayla Gherkin. We got uh, four team fouls on the Mustangs and two on Okaboji. Still and another away, still away. We got a jump ball, and that arrow should be favor the Mustangs here on that jump ball. Just about a steal without the jump. Mustangs go into the back court to Kayla Gherkin. Just a minute to go here in the first quarter. Okaboji's all over the girls. They're really playing tough nice defense. Pass from Kayla. Travel and a travel called. called on Jerns there. Jerns uh, got heavily. Trying to collect her shot and took extra steps on the way. 16 to 5 is our score here with 57 minutes uh, seconds to go. Jensen dishing off to Christofferson. Christofferson guarded by Aarons. Takes it all the way to the wing. Shot no good. Collection by Morgan Jensen again. Senior with uh, seven points here in the first quarter. Two-point two basket that time down. Turin's going to bring it in. What's the call? Turnover... Turnover, I guess. Yep. Traveling call and 20 seconds now, 18 to 5. Our first period score at this time. Maria Meyer driving in, traveled yep. on the way to the pass, and it'll be 7.7 .7 on the clock for the Mustangs to get a bucket to here. Something here to close out this period. Put the Mustangs way on the far baseline. So get finally get even for an outlet. Got to get a shot off here. Four seconds. And there's going to be a charging foul on Olivia. Olivia Johnson. Lowered the boom there. And the Okaboji player stood her ground. So it'll be Okaboji ball. They've got the full court to traverse with just 2.5 seconds to do it. They're going to roll it in. Yeah. Playing. Uh, and it's a three-pointer three no the good. Side of off the, the glass there. <laughs> three-pointer from half court there off the glass. So after one quarter of play, Okaboji 18, George Lurock 5. Yes, it is. 18 to 5. And we got to really, really credit the uh, Pioneers. Their defense has been stellar here. Yes. In the beginning of this contest. I'm going to move this chair a little bit so I can okay. stand beside you. I'm going to put it right to your right. Okay, there. good. Then I can I can get up, but I won't be in your way, hopefully, as you're trying to call the action, too. So Mustangs with all five points from Courtney Dykstra. Free throws and a three-pointer. Yep, I guess it is there. And Okaboji spreading around the scoring among Megan Christofferson, Morgan Jensen. What did, how many does Morgan have? She's got seven. Two, okay. She's got two, two, one, and two for a scoring. So I'm just putting down two for a field goal, one yep. for a free throw. And Megan Christofferson with seven. She's got a two, three, and two. And Stumbo with a two, one, one. Yep. Four points. That makes 18 for Okaboji. They'll start the second period with the ball. They're running their offense. Camry Jones out at the top of the circle. Pass into Stumbo. Stumbo had to go collect it. Now Jones inside the paint. He's in there a long time, but gets out of there just in time. The shot out, no good. Jones collecting the rebound. Hands it off to Harms. Harms will take it around the circle through the paint. That ball is blocked, but Jones there to collect. 
for the easy basket and a two-pointer for Camry Jones. And that's her first bucket of the night here. 20 to five, our score. Ginzy Post now with the ball. Brings it around the right side to Courtney Dykstra. Courtney passed it over in the corner to Jensen. Jensen bringing the ball up around the top of the circle. Just about lost it over and back, <laughs> but uh, gained control. Jensen now driving in, passes over to Courtney. Courtney with a three-pointer on the way. No good there. Kind of Aaron's tracks it down way yeah. on the other end. Good job by Aaron's there to get that back to Aaron's. Aaron's looked at a three, passed it back to Madison Driesen. Madison, nice a good save, move uh, by Madison Driesen. A great move for two points there now. Kind of caught her girl off guard there and went around her. She's really good at that crossover move. Yeah, she sure is. Now we have a jump ball again, and that's going to favor the Mustangs. Kind of a tangled mess there. Yeah. Those players were all falling down long after the whistle blew. We've had, <laughs> we've had a lot of jump balls called tonight so far. Kind of more than usual the way it seems to me. Greason Ooh. tries a pass. It's blocked and a, taken away by Christofferson. Brings it across the timeline. Keeps her dribble till the left wing. That one's and that's stolen. stolen by Post. Post going to go coast to coast with it there. Now and going to be nothing called there. Missed the And Jensen with the rebound, but then throws it, it away. and Has it tipped by Camry yep. Jones into the hands of Allie Harms. And here's Stumbo with a little eight-footer. A nice wow. smooth shot there for Kalen Stumbo. Stumbo, a good shooter there to, for the Okaboji girls. Post will get it across the timeline. Post puts up another 12-footer. No good there. Stumbo tracks down that rebound. Nifty dribbling, gets it across the timeline, keeps it through the paint, dishing around to Jones, now to Harms. And Harms will pull it back a little bit. Bring it to the left side. Well defended there by Post. Post. Yeah. Screen set, but not used. Christofferson and takes it all the way to the low post, and the shot off the glass, no good. I think that foul is going to be on Jensen. Emily Jensen, indeed. Her first foul. So that's, that's six team fouls, right? Yeah, that's six on the team in this half. The free throw is good for Christofferson. She's got eight points on the night so far. 5.24 on the clock. Second free throw on the way. No, no good. good there. Rebounded to Emily Grieve. Emily Grieve now with the ball. Passes it over to uh, Gherkin. Gherkin sees an opening. Goes inside the Nicely lane. Puts it up for done. a shot. Nice shot by G Kayla Gherkin. Gherkin with her first points. Nice move by Stumbo, but too strong off the glass. And there goes Grieve. Emily Grieve with the rebound. Emily Grieve Thinking about going all the way and puts a shot up and got blocked there. And blocked and tipped ahead to Morgan Jensen, and Jensen was fouled. Is that a player control foul back there, or is that a free throw foul with seven? That's a um, player seven, control uh, foul. They have to post the foul because it's number seven. Who was that foul on? On Kayla Gherkin. Oh, her second foul then. They finally got it posted here and then yep. updated the fouls to seven. And then everyone realized, oh, Morgan's going to the line to shoot a one and one. Going to get it to go and have the second one. Second opportunity coming for Jensen and going to get the soft touch. Gets that second one to go as well. Kayla Gherkin now getting heavily guarded. Pass it over to Courtney Dykstra. Courtney going around the left side. Spins around. A nice move by Courtney. Shot. Got her own rebound. Pass it back out to post now. Post guarded way in the high court Post, by Gary Oh, a nice Jones, pass from Post to Madison Driesen, and Madison finishes with two points and got fouled. So Madison Driesen at the line here to uh, shoot one free throw. That foul is um, on number four, 
Jensen. It's Jensen's first. Nope. Madison Driesen's free throw is good there. First time out here from either squad, I believe. And we got a 30-second timeout to George Little Rock, I believe. 25 to 11, our score with 4.34 to go here in the second quarter. So Dykstra with five, Dreesen with five, and Gherkin with two. Makes our 12-point score. Yep. Here in the early going, really the second period has been a little bit more lively for the Mustangs. They've got seven points scored here. And seven points scored for Okaboji to this point as well. So evenly, evenly played, played here. here the second quarter. So it'll be Okaboji ball here now as we start play after the timeout by uh, George Lurock. Arms of Jensen to Stumbo. Stumbo underneath. Ball Stuck got- into the defense, but... A travel, travel call, call there. That's a turnover. Mackenzie Voss. So Mustangs have put the ball in play right in front of our own bench here now. Back over to Emily Grieve. Emily bringing it across the timeline. Emily just in her second game here of the season as she had a broken foot there early on. Oh, he, and Dykstra, Dykstra drives in and uh, got fouled as she put the shot up, so that should put Dykstra at the line to shoot, too. That foul is on... Mackenzie Voss. Mackenzie Voss. Number 21, her first. Team's fourth, but Dykstra at the line for two. Going to get that first one. Nope. Rattles out no good for Courtney. Taylor Titterton in for the uh, Okaboji. Dykstra's second free throw is up and good there. Nothing but net. She is three for four from the line here tonight. Mm-hmm. Stumbo with a turnaround. No move. good there. Nice Madis- move, but Madison no good. Driesen says, I'll take that rebound away. Yeah, here comes Gherkin. Now Dykstra. Pass- nice pass in there to Madison Driesen. Shot got blocked, but Post comes away with it, puts a shot up, and then Post got fouled. So that'll put Post at the line to shoot, too. That foul is on Stumbo, isn't it? 23? I think you were right. Let's see. Yep, 23 is right. That's her first foul. Team's fifth, and Post at the line to shoot two hits the first one. Her first point on the night from the free throw line. Second one's going to fall as well for Post. So she's two for two and her first two points on the night. 25-15. Here's Stumbo now across the timeline. Going to go inside to Taylor Titterington and a, and a foul push. called on the way to the basket. They're in the bonus here. It fouls on, it's on Dykstra. Courtney Dykstra, her third foul there of the night. Wow. Eben will check in. Yep, for, for Dykstrom. Her. Need to have her in yes. the second half. Dykstra's always a force in there. You kind of like to have her on the court. But Morgan picked up. Jensen at the free throw line. Going to get that shot to fall. Has two shots from the, when the it, missed shot. Yeah, one and one. Was it a non-shooting yeah, foul? Yeah, non-shooting. It was a one-on-one. Got it. So the Mustangs will bring it up, 3.33, and Post gets Post a... Post sees an opening there, drives the baseline, puts her up too hard, too no good. Stumbo just willing herself across the timeline yep. through three defenders. And now they'll go to Harms. And a three on the, on the right way. Side, three ball, no good. Stumbo takes the rebound away. That's Maria Meyer, rather. Now Stumbo tries a shot. Tipped around. Last touch by the Pioneers, and Mustangs will have the ball. So Michaela Johnson coming back in the game for Gherkin right now. So 
Three minutes left in the period. Pass to Grieve. Grieve. Keeping their in the dribble. Court. Brings Gonna it across. Finally does. Good job good, by Emily. Good job to keep her composure. That was yes. a high pressure situation there. Nice pass to Eben inside. Eben, Eben, Eben has Eben it got swiped. knocked away there. Grieve tries to pass over nope. top. Too high of a defensive outstretched arm. And Stumbo takes it. Nice pass underneath to Christofferson on, on the break. And Christofferson scores. Handily, 29-15 our score. Emily Green got fouled, Emily <laughs> did. That's only the sixth team foul yet on Okoboji, so Taylor we're just out of bounds is all. Pedrington with the foul. Her first. Grieve coming out for the Mustangs. Not sure who they brought in in her stead, no. but we've got... Post inbounding to Dreesen over to Olivia. Down to Post in the corner. Tries a long three. It's going to be no off good. the back of the rim. No good. A rebound to Christofferson. Going to bring it around the right side. Now the top of the key. Left, left wing to Stumbo. Christofferson will drive into the elbow. Nice little soft touch no shot, good. but it does not fall. Olivia comes away with that rebound. Now Olivia with the ball, passes it into Madison Driesen. Madison got fouled from behind, so that'll put Madison at the line to shoot one and one now. That foul was on uh, Tarrington, uh, huh? Tarrington. Taylor is listed as a 5'10 senior. One of the seniors honored earlier this evening. So Driesen's at the line to shoot one and one here now. 29 to 15 is our score. And the free throw Make it 29-16 as Driesen sinks that free throw. So she's got a chance for one more to make it 17, and she does. 29-17, yeah, good, good free throw shooting there by Madison. She is three for three from her free throw attempts tonight. Grace Eckert into the lineup. Passing down to Maria Meyer, driving through. Eckert on the three-point line. Skips it inside to and gonna be a Montana foul Wilson. Called. And Wilson will work her way to the line. Is that going to be free on throws. 32? That's on Eben. Yep. Her first foul and the team's ninth foul. Montana Wilson at the line. Free throw up and good. It rolled around a long time, didn't it, John? Yeah, that's Wilson's uh, first a point long of the game. Time on the on the rim and through the net last. The other night we had one like that rolled around and come out, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does. That second one's too short. E uh, Driesen with the rebound here, quickly ahead there to Post. Post. Oh, Oxford and rebounded there. The ground. Rebounded by Olivia Johnson under there. And how she got that rebound, I don't know, but uh, she got fouled. And so Olivia will be at the line now to shoot uh, two shots. It fouls on Grace Eckert, her first. And Olivia at the line. No Off good. The side of the rim, no good. 30 to 17 is our score in favor of Okaboji. Olivia with the ball in her hand to shoot the second free throw here. Free throws up and good for Olivia. Nice shot there. So one of two that time down. 30 to 18 our score. Grace Eckert brings it across. Going to pass it over to Maria Meyer now down to the corner. Christofferson in the Boy, ball good Boy, de good defense by Madison Eben there. Now we got a jump ball and that favors... Uh, Okaboji, the arrow does. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you can't just get the rebound. You got to do something with it. Yep. And Okaboji just grabbed the ball and tied it up. So There's Aaron's come into inside. the game for post. Now Aaron's with the ball. Aaron's bringing it across the timeline here. Aaron's handing it off to Olivia. Olivia. Back to Madison Driesen. Back to Aaron's looked at a three, decided against it. 
Now pass it over to Michaela Johnson. Michaela back over to her sister Olivia. Olivia got the ball swiped away, but regains control. Back to Madison Driesen. Michaela bringing around the right side. Tough defense here, and now there's going to be a travel call on uh, Olivia as she was going to take off for the basket before she put the ball down. So we have a timeout, Okaboji. And it's a 30-second timeout. 30-18, to 18, our score with 35 seconds left to play here in the first half. Well, at one point, we had been playing pretty even. And I think that's still kind of the case here. It's a 12-13 12, 12 to 13 yep. score right now yet in this second period. So it's been pretty even the second quarter. Just got down a little bit there in the uh, first quarter there by uh, 12 points. So it'll be Okaboji ball. We got 35 seconds to go here in the uh, second quarter. Eckerd to Meyer on the right wing. Gonna pass it inside. Shot too strong off the rebound, off the backboard rather. The rebound. Madison Eben comes away with that rebound. Battling for that with Montana Wilson and does a good job. Yes. Good screen from Michaela to get. Aaron's free. Yep. Madison uh, Driesen now makes a nice move. The bucket passes it over to uh, Madison Eben. Madison Eben took a shot, and uh, Okaboji tried to save it in bounds to the Okaboji. A three-pointer by Aaron's if it counted if it went, but no good. <laughs> At the buzzer. That was a buzzer beater, but it did not go. So after one half of play, Okaboji 30, George Little Rock Mustang girls 18. So we're at halftime already here at Okaboji. So the uh, girls aren't just playing that bad, really, and the Okaboji's have got a very excellent team, too. And uh, we're only down here 30 to 18, 12-point deficit here, so. Definitely not any, uh, that, I mean, that first quarter we got down to a tough start, but yes. playing them even here in the second period is a good sign, so. Yep, Let's Kayla Gherkin with two points in the first half, and uh, Courtney Dykstra with uh, three, four, five, six points in the first half. Olivia Johnson, one point, a made free throw. Mackenzie Post, two free throws made. Madison Driesen, four, five, six, seven points in the first half. Uh, Morgan Jensen has 11. And we've got Megan Christofferson with five, seven, eight, ten points. Kaylin Stumbo with Six and Camry Jones with two. Montana Wilson with a chip in from the free throw line for one for their 30 points here in the first half. And uh, the defense has caused the Mustangs to turn the ball over half a dozen times here in that first half. Yeah, yeah, a good defense here by uh, Okaboji. They uh, hustle all the time and. Uh, Yes, so they do. Well, we're going to take hear... a little break here, I yep. believe, for about eight minutes. I got to sit down just a little bit. So yep. we'll be back after these messages. When the Pizza Ranch bell is rung, an immediate response of significant movement ensues. As the bell is rung, salivating becomes prevalent. These behaviors occur due to the pull of crispy hand-breaded chicken and the pull of hot, melted, real cheese on made-from-scratch dough with our fresh, manner-compromising sauce. And the appeal of our all-you-can-eat buffet can't be ignored. Pizza Ranch. And for delivery, give us a ring.
We're down to a minute before we start our second half. You're listening to the GLR Radio Network. Thank you for tuning us in. Our score at halftime, 30-18 to 18 in favor of the Okoboji Pioneers. The Lady Pioneers are 17-3 and three on the season. They are a very quality ball club this year, and uh, we're seeing a lot of signs of that here in the first half. But the Mustangs played them very evenly in the second period, and if they can chip into this a little bit in the third period, they can put themselves in position. Yep, make a game out of it here. He was right. So I thought the Mustangs are doing quite well against they, a, yeah. a very a good team here for Mokoboji. Like you said, 17-3. and three, So They are doing very well against a team of that caliber. And so uh, we're enjoying bringing the contest here to you tonight. And, of course, programming note, right on the heels of this, we'll have the boys' contest, second half of our doubleheader tonight. And so stay tuned all through the evening here on the GLR Network for so, the two ball games. Starting the uh, second half here, Mustangs with the ball. Gherkin now back in the game here now. Gherkin passes over to uh, Driesen. Driesen back to uh, Courtney Dykster with a three on the way. Nope, no good off the back of the rim. Post was going to try to run it down, but it went out of bounds, so it will go to Okaboji. Well, Stumbo takes the pass from Nielsen, and she'll bring it across through the paint and spin move off the glass. No good. No good Rebound there. lost into the hands of... Nielsen pass inside to Jones and Jones right under the basket missed an easy shot and Mustangs come out of there. Post going coast to coast all the way and it would not drop right off the top of the rim there just hung there a little bit would not go for her so Stumbo to Christopher. No three second call five has been in there all the time puts her up <laughs> and good there. A long time I would say John. Yep. Nielsen, her first points on the night. Two-point basket to start our our uh, second half scoring here for Okaboji. Dykstra now with the ball getting, boy, they really guard him close there. Nothing called, though. He's just almost pushing against him. Michaela, now a jump ball called again here, and that's going to go to Okaboji. Yeah, the ball is on the floor. There's going to be a tie-up. It's almost yep. a guarantee you cannot go to the ground and get that ball away before there's a somebody diving at you to get the control yeah. of it they get away from you so 32 to 18 our score harms to nielsen under to jones and stumbo out on the left wing gonna drive baseline easily down and all no the way, but would not go the bunny shot should have gone for yes. her, but it did not the mustangs come out of there with it Gherkin passes it into Driesen now. Back to Gherkin. Back to Driesen again. And Driesen makes that nice spin move. Ooh, and got fouled as she put the shot up. So she will go to the line to shoot two as she shot did not go down. And so Madison Driesen at the line to shoot two free throws. That foul was on. Um, Has to be on Camry Jones. Camry Jones, you say. Okay. It's got to be on 34. 14 they well, got they put, up there. They put it to Megan Christopherson, her second. Yes. I don't think she was even on the same half of the court as that play. <laughs> oh, somebody's <laughs> got uh, contact troubles here. Number 23 here. Kayla Stumbo. Kayla Stumbo. Washing to, her windshield. Trying to get it back into her eye. You got some of that there. I got some wedding jobs. Wedding drops. jobs that she was putting in yours. Now they had a sub... For her, number 11, Maria Meyer. Two shots coming here for. Uh, oh, he's got some solution right there. Okay. On the for Madison Driesen. First free throws up and off the front of the rim. She'll get a chance to shoot uh, one more. Madison's second free throws up and no good again there. So, ooh girl went down hard there trying to get that rebound number 34 uh, Jones Camry Jones just all by herself and just uh, went down hard on the floor so Mustangs will have the ball in front of our own bench here 
Pass into Dykstra, back. And there's a jump ball, and that's going to be a Mustang ball, I believe. Yes. Jump ball going to Mustangs. Post ran right into Megan Christopherson, who just grabbed the, grabbed ball, the ball and tied it up. Maria Meyer guarding the entry pass. Wow, just about a still. There goes Gherkin now, driving in the lane, puts a shot up. A little too short, no good. Jones with the rebound ahead to Christofferson, back to Jones. Oh, there's a travel. Yep, they got her. Number 34, <laughs> Camry <laughs> Jones with the travel. You were on that. I you were <laughs> on that call. Oh, boy. And they did get it. They did call it. Yes, they did. <clears throat> Madison uh, Griesen with the ball. Pass over to Gherkin. Far right side. Now over to Michaela Johnson. Michaela back to Dykstra at the top of the circle. Passes it into Driesen. Driesen tried to put a shot up. Got it tipped out of her hands. So Okaboji. Harms has got it now on the right wing to the free throw line. Nice shot and up a nice shot. Arching shot and scores. First bucket for Harms tonight. Okoboji keeps that uh, kind of full court pressure on there. Gherkin passes it over to uh, Driesen, and Driesen puts a shot up. No good. Harms on the break, takes it all the way down. <laughs> That's four quick points there for Harms there as she's in the game. Here comes... Uh, Post again, puts a shot up, no good, any eye over. So here we go, a quick paced game here now, just back and forth here. Everybody just putting a shot up real quick. Fire to Harms, Harms will drive it in, nice And makes another shot. point. Six quick points for yeah. Ellie Harms. And the timeout. Harms scoreless in the first half, comes out just now, hits three buckets within one minute. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, that opens up a 20-pointer here for the for the Pioneers. Mustangs are scoreless here, but it's an eight to nothing run for the Pioneers here in the first three and a half minutes of this period. The Mustangs need to call timeout to try to recalibrate. Recalibrate something. a little bit. If you sit down here, you can't see nothing. If you stand up, you get tired of standing after a little while too. Well, if you stand up, you can't sit down. Yeah, well, if you sit down, you can't stand up. Yeah, it's just a complicated world we live in here. Hey, I heard a joke the other night. Oh, got, good. Yep. What do you see when the fog lifts in California? <laughs> when the fog lifts? <laughs> what, do you, what do you see? Huh. You, sh you should know this. You should know. I should know this. It seems like I've. You've heard it before. I've heard this before. <laughs> yeah. UCLA. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet you do. Yep, that's right. I bet you don't see it if the fog hasn't oh, lifted. Oh, no. If you haven't so, seen the fog lift, then you don't know if the fog's you lifted or not. Then you haven't seen L.A. Mustangs so. will come in off of the called timeout. We'll get it across the timeline with Post and Gherkin playing catch. Down to Courtney Dykstra. Dykstra driving in the lane, puts a shot up and got travel. travel. They're going to call on Dykstra. Glanzer don't believe the travel call. So Stumble will bring it across, hand it off to Christofferson. Mm. He'll go underneath the Stumble. She'll get a shot off, but no joy. The rebound fought for, and the Mustangs. Gherkin, and then ball on the floor. And like you said, boy, the no jump ball. Oh, oh nice, nice <laughs> idea. Dykstra, <laughs> Dykstra was going to pass it ahead to Post, but just a little too hard, and Post could not catch up with it, so ball went out of bounds. Looks like Alexis Nielsen. Going to take a seat by the coach. Yeah, she has, I don't know. Uh, she's a little shaken up after that last round of events. I think so. Stumbo will take it off the wing, dashing off to Jones. Jones with a nice soft touch, but it's touched last by the nice. Mustangs, knocked it out of bounds, and it's Lady Pioneers with the basketball. 346, 38 18, our score. Stumbo will inbound. Gets it to Morgan Jensen. 
Now to Christofferson. Two nice pointer. Soft shot there from, soft touch rather from the, just inside the arc for Christofferson. Ball uh, into the front court here. The Mustangs with post, post passes. Three pointer on the way by Courtney Dykstra. And count it for Dykstra. Splash. A three pointer. That's her second three pointer of the night. 40 to 21 now. Good passing there. Number four is Jensen. Morgan Jensen. Christofferson to Jones to Jensen. And Jensen collects another two-pointer. Got a timeout. We had trouble getting the ball inbound. So Tyler Glanzer quickly called a timeout. So uh, a 30-second timeout here to George Little Rock. 42 to 21 is our score with three minutes to go here in the third quarter. So Dykstra with the only points here this half for the Mustangs and that was on a nice looking three pointer splashed it right in nothing but net yep so maybe Dykstra's going to get hot here in the second half yet with her three point shooting she's capable of making four or five of them I've seen her do that already it's in been a game. done yes so we're back live action here Mustangs with the ball Chance to put it in bounds here under the Okaboji basket. So Mustangs break uh, the press yeah. handily. Oh my goodness, a <laughs> shot by Gherkin, and it just rolled around on the rim and off the front end and would not drop for her. Nice shot by Gherkin. Nice little layup. Hustled down the floor with it. Post with the ball now. Pass it into uh, Madison Even. Back over to Post in the far corner there. Post passes back to Gherkin. Gherkin driving into the free throw lane. Said, I'll try that shot again and does it now. This time Gherkin does for two points. Man, here's Christofferson. Now to Jones on the right wing. Flashing through is Allie Harms. Got the ball blocked. Rebound to Stumbo. She'll get it back out to the top of the key. Christofferson Boy. falling to the hardwood. The Was rebound a, to Cameron Olivia. Jones. Olivia fell down there. Got kind of pushed down. And that foul is going to be on. Um, it's on Eben, I think. Madison yep. Eben second foul. Madison ball. Eben picks up that foul. So 34 is Cameron um, Jones. Jones. Sinks that free throw. No, that rattled out. Oh, it did. Right. Okay, yeah. I just took my eyes off of it there it a minute. It looked really good, yeah. but it hit I was, funny and bounced right back out. I was ready to write it down, and uh, good thing we got four eyes watching here. That one didn't that one go either, did it? Too. Mustangs. Dykstra collects it. Post sees an opening for the basket, puts a shot up, and got fouled. So Post to be at the line now to shoot two. That foul is on uh, Morgan Jensen, I believe. 23, it's on uh, Caitlin Stumbo. Oh, wow. I can't, that's another one I can't believe. She wasn't even in the zip code of that action. Did Post make that first free throw now? Nope. And the second one is good. Good. Let's see. 24 points now for yep. the Mustangs. Stumbo drives into the paint. Going to get a spin move. Good and the shot to fall. And gets the shot to fall is right. Kalen Stumbo with another two-pointer. So uh, Lauren Jerns into the game, bringing the ball up. Got the ball taken away, taken away from her in the backcourt. And it's going to be a blocking call on Lauren Jerns. That is her first foul of the night. So Kalen Stumbo, 5'8", junior, playing very well here tonight. Makes the first free throw. Camry Jones come out of the game for Okaboji. Stumbo's free throws in and out. No good. Rebounded in the hands of Olivia. 
Here goes Gherkin down the floor. Gherkin, and they're going to be a charging foul on uh, Kayla Gherkin. That's her third foul of the night. Good defense here by the Okaboji yeah, girls. And she was on a fast break, and somehow the girl got ahead of her and got into position. Yep. They move. Just a hustling <clears throat> team here. They move up and down the court very well, Okaboji girls. <clears throat> Got a new player in for Pioneers, number 25, Keitra Cabin Boy, her first minutes here. McKenna Aaron's coming in for um, Kayla Gherkin. Gherkin with three fouls, going to sit in a little while. <clears throat> Cabin Boy handing it off to Jensen. Getting it back, driving through, lost the handle yep. onto the ground, gets it back. Going to have a jump ball there, <laughs> Olivia. Shared but possession again. On the floor, tying that girl up to get the jump ball called, but ball belongs to Okaboji. Stumbo driving all yep. the way. And puts her in for two. The, the defense. Shot off the glass, left-handed, up and good. Stumbo with uh, 11 points so far tonight. Even now, ooh, could be a travel on even. Just about but steps. Nothing called here. We got to get the ball in the hands of guards here. We got, uh, we got even all the outside. Three tallest girls handling it at the top of the court here. Dreesen now off to Aaron's and now Aaron's with three. a three, no good there. Rebounded. Just about in the hands of uh, Jerns, but now Jerns ties her up. Got a <laughs> jump ball, and that's going to belong Mustang to the Mustangs. Basketball. There's been more jump balls called tonight than I've ever seen in a game, I believe. Stumbo sitting down for the Pioneers. Olivia passes it in quickly to uh, Madison Eben, and then she got... Not fouled, yes, fouled there. Fouled by Taylor Titterington, her third. Madison Eben, oh, tries to pass it in. The ball got taken away there by, oh, now ball taken away again. Now we got a jump ball again. <laughs> and that's going to belong to the Pioneers. Now we got a Okaboji girl, got to tie her shoe a minute there. Referee giving her a little time. Morgan Jensen tying her shoe, ready to put the ball in play here. 30 seconds to go here, 47 to 24. Our score here in the third quarter. Christofferson drives it una unabated all the way to the right wing and scores. Another two points for Megan. Jerns now with the ball. Pat. Ooh, pass it over to Madison Dreesen. Madison driving the baseline. Backs it back out to Eben. Eben driving the baseline. Now gives off to Madison Dreesen and got the shot blocked and gets her own rebound. And that's the end of three quarters of play. 49 to 24 in favor of Okaboji girls here. Yeah, so, the Mustangs just really ran into the defensive yeah. buzzsaw that is the Okaboji Pioneers. Okaboji here. scored 19 points that quarter, and uh, we only scored six points in that <laughs> yeah. uh, <clears throat> quarter there. So, yeah. Well, there's a reason this team is 17 and three. They got that right. Yep. And uh, I really and they are a terrific ball club. We've we've been uh, privileged to see them a couple times this year this will be our second time actually so i really don't know um who they lost to either <clears throat> in the conference but uh no they were uh all three close games that's what i heard yeah earlier so, so. and they could have could have won at least a couple of those so they <laughs> they're a very very competitive ball club mm -hmm. and you can see uh, very well coached and doing a great job here tonight. Yep. A lot of, get a lot of hustle in those Okaboji girls. So we've got eight more minutes to play here for the girls' contest before our boys uh, take the court. So uh, Mustangs putting the ball in play here into Courtney Dykstra. Courtney. Good. 
Now we got another jump ball, and that's going to belong to Okaboji. We've had uh, 29 jump balls. 29, I would bet. <laughs> I was going to say 32, but that I think could, you're, you might be close. I don't know. Pretty close, but a lot of them. Grace Eckerd. Oh, and now ball stolen. taken away by uh, Jensen. Passes quickly to Post. Post puts a shot up. No good. Gets her own rebound. And we got a jump <laughs> ball again. And that's going to go to the Mustangs. Another jump ball. I feel like the Mustangs already had the ball. Yes. Now back to Madison Driesen. Madison over to uh, Emily Grieve. A three-pointer on the way by Post. No good. Jensen just about got that rebound, but... That was Mackenzie Voss who took that away for Okaboji. 49-24. Grace Eckert, top of the key to Titra. Cabin Boy driving it into the paint. Brings it back out to the top. Morgan Jensen. Taylor Titterington. All five Lady Pioneers in. Oh, that bad pass there by Okaboji and right into the hands of Dykstra. Dykstra going to go coast to... Oh, and a blocking foul called on um, number 25. Yeah, good good eye. That's Keetra Cabin Boy. Cabin Boy. First foul. And so Okaboji got five new girls into yeah. the game here. I was going to say all five of the players on the floor replaced the... The starters, but now that line change just happened. They brought all five starters back in. Mustangs inbound it to Jensen. She's tripped up, but hands it off to Jensen. Dijkstra. Sees an opening and goes all the way. Got the shot blocked there. Good move by Jensen, but uh, Okaboji girls right. Oh, and a good pass there. Stumble you know, with a short shot. And we're going to have a foul called on uh, Emily Grieve, number 23. That's Emily's first. The team's fifth in this half. So no shooting yet for free throws. Pass into Jones underneath to Stumbo. Turnaround floater hits for Keelan Stumbo. Jensen with the ball over to Emily Greed. Emily Greed got bumped a little bit. No call. Finally, they do call it. Christofferson following her around like she's uh, part of her shadow. <laughs> yeah. And finally got called for the foul. It's her third foul, I believe, if I've got it right. That's on the number 14. Yep. That's ball stolen third. by Stumbo on the entry pass. And the oh, look at that ball. Long baseball pass. And hits the basket. Quick turnaround there and a turnover by the Mustangs. Turns into two points for Okaboji. Greason passing underneath the post. Post puts a shot up a little too short there off the front of the rim. Stumbo. Good ball handling from Kalen Stumbo. Brings it all the way up to Allie Harms. Wide open from the right wing and hits a nice jumper from eight feet. I think that was just the two-pointer, wasn't it? Two-pointer, yeah. Emily Grieve now back to uh, Dykstra. Dykstra top of the circle there. Dykstra passes over to Jensen. Jensen going to bring the, puts a three-pointer up Jensen did. No good there. Stumbo with the rebound again. Fast uh, pass oh. ahead to Christofferson and No good strong. on that shot. And now we're going to have foul a foul on, on uh, Emily Grieve there again. That's going to be her second foul. Emily Grieve picks up two fouls here in the fourth quarter. 5.17 to go. 55 to 24 is our score here at the Okaboji Gym. Three pointer on the way and no good by number 14 is Christofferson. Third foul on Emily Grieve. Oh, did she pick up her third foul now? Wow. Yep. Well, they yep. just posted it there. It is their third foul. Yep. Timeout. George Little Rock, full timeout. 5-11 left on the clock. 
and uh, 55-24. So six to nothing here as we start the first uh, three minutes gone of this period. Okaboji relentless on the pressure and then quickly pushing the ball ahead. They've had yes. a couple of long baseball passes to, uh, to fast break. The easy score there, a couple of points. Yeah, we got that right. So are your eyes bothering you tonight or not? Not too bad. Oh, I see you take your glasses well, off. Well, these are readers. So oh, I have readers. to have that to see this. Oh, yeah, and, and you got and contacts, got contacts in, too. in to see the game. Okay. And I forget how easy it is with just plain glasses on to see both yeah, front and everything. back. Yeah, so I'm having a good uh, a good experience overall, but I have to put these up to my yeah. nose and well, look like a real studious person here. Well, you're see? doing a good job watching the game. Well, I should be doing a better job. No, you're doing good. I can see the game, and then if I do this, John, I can see the paper. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, so I'm... Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you pull that works for me, too. If you pull your glasses down like that, you could do the same thing. I can thing. see the game good without, yeah. Yeah. So, Kalen Stumbo at the line, left-handed, free throw up and good. Another two points for Stumbo. Or another one, Money. free throw, rather. Yep. Here's her second Sorry. free throw, and that is good as well. So, so we'll call it another two points. Yep. One, so two, four, five. six, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen 12, 13, 15 points on the night thus far for Stumbo. I think she's got five made free throws. So Emily's still in the game here, and uh, Post, Post finally three. connects with a bucket there, and <laughs> she got fouled. Down. That's Post's first basket of the night. You'll get a chance to shoot one free throw. That foul is on um, number five, Morgan Jensen. No, no, Alex Nielsen. Alexis. Or Alexis? Yep, Alexis. Alexis. With her free throw is foul. no good by post there. Leaves our score at 57 to 26. Now we're going to get a hmm, double dribble or something. Some kind of a ball turnover. Yep, unless it was out of bounds right here along the end line probably, or sideline rather. So Gherkin's into the game here now. Kayla Gherkin brings the ball back to Emily. Back into post. Post pass the ball to Gherkin, and it uh, must have got tipped out of bounds by an Okoboji player. So post right under our own basket, putting the ball into uh, <clears throat> Madison Driesen. Back over to Michaela Johnson. Michaela tries to get it in there to Driesen, but uh, no, no avail. Jones hounded by post coming across the timeline, <laughs> hands it off to Allie Harms. Allie gets it over to Meyer. Meyer pops for three and, and count it there. Maria Meyer. The 5'6 senior in her senior night hits a big three-pointer here in front of the home crowd. I think that's her first uh, bucket of the night. Post with a shot up, no good. Oh, stepped on the out-of-bounds line here, number five, <laughs> Nielsen. Uh, Alexis Nielsen. Nielsen lost the handle, and it's a turnover for the Pioneers. The Mustangs will have the ball here and right in front of the Okaboji bench. They'll inbound with just under four minutes left. 60 to 26 is our score. Gherkin lost the handle on the ball as she was driving the bucket, taken away by uh, Okaboji. Number four, Morgan Jensen with it. Jensen and Eckerd playing Boy, catch. Post really playing tough defense right now. Just about a steal there by Gherkin. And now we have a foul away from the uh, ball. That's on number one, I guess. Kayla Gherkin. That's her fourth, fourth foul. Oh, yeah. So number 32, Taylor Titterton is uh, up for a free throw. No good. Rebound to the Mustangs and the foul over the back by the Pioneers. will move at the other end of the court. Both teams in the one and one bonus now. Allie Harms coming out. About time you get it on the 
<laughs> GLR radio. Somebody been working the whole game trying to get it on. And oh, I'm I glad said, you found us. Yeah, yeah and I said, I said, well, uh, give it to your uh, seventh grade boy or whatever, and he'll right. get it on. And I guess he got it right on. Got see, it. got it, this, got it, got it. Yeah, this old man just doesn't know how he to do it. See, <laughs> Wyatt can do it. So Grace Eckert gets it from her teammate as she gets it across the timeline, Maria Meyer. And now Eckert dribbling across the top. Mustangs are not giving up, playing tough D here. 60 to 26 here, and there's going to be a foul on post. Just kind of overplaying right now. M post, that's her second foul is all. But yep. had to put... Uh, Number 10, Grace Eckert at the line to shoot the one-on-one. Emily Greaves taking a seat there by the coach. Grace Eckert. Free throw on the way, and it no is good. no good. And Eben, Madison Eben comes away with that rebound. Gherkin now with the ball at the free throw line, driving it into the lane, puts a shot up, and good count it for Kayla Gherkin. Six points there for Kayla tonight. Oh, could have been a couple of times a travel been. that travel call. Good call there. They finally got it after the mid court. <laughs> yeah. Some high dribbles with a lot of steps between. So two minutes and fifty seconds. Clock's not running. It finally got started here. Sixty to twenty-eight. Post, Post with a two-two ball. Two ball. And rebound and, by Oh, Eben. my goodness. Down and out that was. Madison even got the rebound. It just would not fall. The ball was Eckert has it swiped by Post. Easy. Post going to make a free, uh, layup and finally does there. The steal by Post takes it all the way to the basket. 2.20 left. 60-30 our score. Maria Meyer. She'll bring it to Morgan Jensen. Jensen will drive in. The shot blocked. And blocked. And a foul on Madison Even, I think. Yeah. It'll be her 20, third 32 foul. is right. No, I think it's going to be. Yes, it is. No, it's going to be on Madison Even. Yep, 32. Oh, I thought you said uh, Driesen. Yep, you, you said Even. Okay, I'm sorry. I was thinking you said Madison Driesen. And the free throw is good there. By Morgan Jensen. She has all kinds of points all night here for Okaboji. She got four free throws made, so. Uh, eight, six, eight. Casey Klinkenberg in, Lauren Jerns, Madison Eben, and also uh, Jensen there, Emily Jensen. I've yeah, actually Mustangs. got her for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven free throws. Oh, made. really? Yeah. Okay. I, I probably could have seven missed Seven and then eight points from inside the field. That gives her 15 on the night for, unofficially. Wow. Just a very quiet, soft touch shooter. Jones, back over to Casey Klinkenberg. Over to uh, a two-pointer. Oh, two nice yep. Jump shot from... Olivia. Olivia Johnson. Olivia's first bucket. She had a free throw earlier on, and now she got a two-pointer made. She shot that right over top of Montana Jones. Yeah. To the surprise of everyone on the Okoboji side. Montana Jones has and it tipped away. Madison even comes away with that. Now tipped out of bounds by uh, number 25, and that's uh, Cabin Boy. Keetra has it knocked away, and the Mustangs with the basketball. Minute 30 to go. Jerns puts up a two-pointer. No good. Rebounded. Post fighting for it on the floor. We got a jump ball. And that's going to belong to Okaboji's Favors them. So I was saying we got to have a jump ball pretty soon again. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you are right. Minute 20 counting down. Grace Eckert brings it across. 62-32. Okaboji. There's a nice pass underneath. Mm -hmm. The turnaround jumper is going to be no short. Good. Rebound. Uh, Two-pointer on the way. Wilson. No good. 
We had a foul on Okaboji. Jensen had position and uh, number 10. Eckert tried to uh, do too much and was called for the over the back foul on the rebound. And that put Emily Jensen at the line to shoot um, one and one. One and one. Free Got throws up. Go. Good there. Nice shot there by Emily. So Emily will get a chance to uh, put another point on the board here. No good there. Rebounded to uh, Eckerd. Eckerd bringing the ball up for Okaboji. Mm, tipped away there by Madison Eben, but. Uh, to the corner. Hope oh, and uh, stood on the line, I guess. Baseline. Just about on the B on Okaboji. Yep, took that ball away, but was standing out of bounds when it happened. Eckerd will inbound for Okaboji. Backdoor pass, a shot, no yep. good. And Jensen. Oop, and there's going to be a foul on Lauren Jurens, I would say. Nope, it's going to nope. be on uh, Eckerd, I think. Knocked Jurens to the really? hard one. Oh, Jurens getting up a little slow there. It hit her just wrong. Yep. Kind of limping off there. She's up. She's going to be okay. Yeah, I don't the think it's too serious, but just kind of a kind heart. Of take your breath away, right? It, That's true. Yeah, she's, she's, wa gonna, she's walking okay. She's going to be okay, but just kind of a really hard fall there for Jerns. She's going to walk clear down to the baseline. Casey Klinkenberg got the ball taken away from her. Like Keetra They're, getting guarded. Boy, they won't call a foul. <laughs> Still, uh, Jensen says, "What, what do I have ball. to? What do I have to do to get a foul <laughs> called on me here?" And I would say the fouling game would be a, a moot point at this point. Yeah, but uh, she was trying to get a foul. And she looked over at Tyler. Says, "What do I have to do?" Oh, just about a jump ball again, maybe. And Keetra's got it at the top of the key. Going to drive in and off the oh. glass and good. It's a big bucket for Keetra on senior night here for the Pioneers. And, and that's, that's the end of the contest. 64 to 33 in favor of Okaboji. So we really saw a great ball club here in these uh, Lady Pioneers. And it is no wonder they have just moved their record to 18 and three now on that win yep. over the Mustangs tonight. Yep. And they are a top, top tier ball club, I would say, going into tournament.